Yeah, y'all not. Okay, I see, I see. Hey, everybody. How you doing? How'd y'all get in my house? Adam Comedian, Ms. Unique Love, Smith Caney, and I see you. Browns Productions. Evelyn Gatlin, I see y'all, man. We waiting on Shang and everybody else. Shang's in the building. There he is. I'm waving at him right now. That's what it is. Hey, Shang. Send that request. We'll get him in the building, y'all. Savage AF. Uh, while we're doing that and getting Shang in the building, I'm going to hit y'all with this little pin. I am Shang.com slash merch. Wait, we're going to view Shang real quick. Get him in. Bang, bang, bang. That's coming. That's coming. Here comes Shang. Miss Adverb. Look at her. On time for class. Pretty yeah. on the left and the right. What's going on, Shane? Oh, now? yeah. See, it, it, what's up? Sometimes they late. Sometimes they on time. I mean, it's 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 still early. We starting. Uh, the world is still acting like a fucking crazy place. So we're here to Not keep it way. sane. The, the reason we're here is to make sure the shit is sane. That's why. That's the whole That's reason we're here. That's what No it other is, reason. Guys. Yeah. Um, check this out, y'all. We got it pinned down there. I am Shane.com slash merch for your Savage AF tees and masks. Uh, the world has gone crazy. I'm going to drink a little wine while, while we do this. I've already had <laughs> two edibles waiting for those to kick in. <laughs> going to be a good Well, I guess I'm going to have to join you. <laughs> well, there you go. Get in on it. So, uh, Savage AF, we are here uh, live on Instagram Monday through Friday. Mondays and Fridays, 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Tuesday through Thursday, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Being a Wednesday, it is 6 p.m. It is September 16th, 2020. Make sure you're always following that comedian Shane and myself. Make sure you Black follow Pedro. at Black Pedro and make sure you check us out on all the social media platforms, iTunes, Stitcher, Slacker, Google Play, iHeartRadio, Spotify, all the podcast platforms. You need to check us out. What you doing? What yes. is you doing? What's wrong with you? And I'm sorry, at- I don't even know what the fuck that was. Seven. And and you cannot call me a wino when your name is Ask the Beer Guys 3. Okay, listen. You're a bureau, or I don't know what we got. No, but what's up? Ask the yeah. beer guys three. We'll uh, see you, man. If you wake up in your the own three. pee, if you wake up in your own pee, that is a wino. All and right? And if you wake up in somebody else's pee as well, that is. That is Donald if, if, Trump. General, if you wake up in pee, right, then you're, then you're the president <laughs> of the United States. Then you've had a golden shower from a Russian from prostitute, Russian and that's male, what they're videotaping. Prostitute. Male, male, male prostitute, and that's what they're holding over you, and that's what's going to happen. Thank you, lady underscore Hazel underscore May, uh, call it, calling us handsome black kings. I don't know who the fuck you talking about in my case, but uh, I know it, it, it must be talking about Pedro or some nigga is standing behind me. I, on the other hand, it, am a high yellow fella with uh, funny tendencies. That's you what know, I call myself. Shane, you know light skin will get you halfway there, bro. That's a all you got to do is not Not really. Yourself. Nah, I talk. think that shit changed a long time ago. After Wesley Snipes stabbed that nigga in the hand on New Jack City, that was the end of all life skin niggas. That's, <laughs> I, know. I think y'all come back and wait. Yeah, like, yeah, I think he fucked it up for all of us. And then Drake crying all the time. Even though I like Drake's music, yeah, I think that Drake made it too, light skin niggas too soft. That nigga's emo. He's emo. And they, they forget about old school West Coast cat like Mac 10. That, <laughs> that nigga. Life. I, I old life, nigga. Hey, homie. I, how about I bust you in the eye with these man, these hand chops? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Say, hand chops. That's the name of them. Not get wet. Uh, yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, so like, light skin dudes are coming back to where? <laughs> get the fuck <laughs> out of here. It's where, like where up here. It said like we went out. Of, we went out of style like pumas. Uh, <laughs> that's that's just but, fucked up. But now you're back like Fila. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's, see, it's a, there you go. Oh, man. Drake is so embarrassing. Well, Drake is embarrassing, but the motherfucker makes hits. So, Savage AF, you know what I'm saying? Uh, we'll give you the daily run up. Run up you on your ass. Saying? We the type of show All the way up. up. I'm all the way up. So make I sure you... Blessed. Also, uh, one more thing I forgot. Now, we already told you that the thing is pent down at about tees and masks. Um, you need to just check out the website, IamShank.com, backslash merch. And but if you don't get to do that, this is what we really need you to do. The subscription thing is very important. Very yeah. important. Yes. All right. Very, 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 very important. So I need you to do that. And if you could do that for us, we will send you some chocolate covered edibles. I don't know if you had those before. The, the chocolate ones, mm-hmm. they're delicious. They get and it. they will get you high as oh, giraffe pussy. Ralph Porter in the building. 
Very Ralph funny Porter comic. Ralph in the sure building. Funny sure ass follow. comic. Ralph Porter, make sure you follow that. Follow also, Ralph Porter. We see you Velda. Yeah, Star. Ralph Porter. Make, make sure y'all follow Ralph Porter. Sexy Puerto Rico. So we got we people jumping on. Let's give them. Let's give them the run up. Let them know what the fuck is going on. By the way, uh, we are definitely going to make sure that we make this a TV show. I got a couple people that inboxed me said this should be a TV show and we should bring guests on. That is exactly the plan. So we're working on it. But oh. I just want to hit y'all to something. You um, yesterday and today we had a total of two hundred and twenty two people. Two, I'm, let me make sure I double check. 222 people have joined us on our fan page, which is taking it us over 3,500 people like that that follow us on the fan page. And also, each show that we do, um, we usually reach about 12 to 2,000 people a day. So mm -hmm. what I need you to do is make that 3,000 people. 4,000 people, so they get Five, the word 10, out. 15, 20. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 45, 40. So make sure you, I don't know why I turned into an auctioneer, but make sure you do that. Okay. Don't go <laughs> trumping Ms. the Ms. numbers. Ms. Abrams said, don't go trumping the numbers. You know, you know, she's going to start. No, I can, fire. I can prove the shit. That's fire. Pow. She come out. Yeah. Hey, Miss Adverb, I'll send you a screenshot. Don't get it twisted. And then after that, you know what I'm saying? Hello, Whatever you need. AJ Fit, welcome to the building, brother. We are ready. Pub for the Publicity Mag is in the building. You have been saying the same thing since April. It is September. What? So there we go. You, you know, know what? Let's move on. Yeah, know, yeah fuck yeah, it. That know. was just... <laughs> Sometimes it's just like, pause. <laughs> and back to what, the show. Like, what the fuck Savage did you just say? This is the daily run-up. Uh, say his name. We're going to end today's show uh, talking about the killing of James Skurlock, a, a story I hadn't really heard about. But this young man, 22 years old, was shot and killed uh, back in May, uh, May 30th as the um, George Floyd protests were popping off. And he was shot by a, uh, a, a bar owner, store owner, business owner, white. Um, and they're, they're just now indicting him, but he is being indicted. We're going to talk about that. Uh, before we get to that, we're going to reverse field and talk about Sean 4100. I know what you talk. I know. What's up? What up, though? Uh, and this will be yeah, that's some, this, this, this story. I, I, we're going to talk about it, but that's some bitch shit right there. But I, I mean, let them know. Ten. But it's like, come on, man. The Big Ten, com Big Ten Conference has changed his mind. And uh, we'll open up its season uh, in a couple of weeks. Uh, but before I we think talk the about NFL that, made them made them jealous. This is, well, you know, other football conferences are going right now, so it, it, it's not just them. But yeah, there, there was definitely a folding of laundry. Uh, but uh, before we get into that, we're gonna talk about this uh, clown hall meeting that happened uh, last that night. That shit was hilarious. Uh, in that, instead of a town hall meeting, a uh, Trumpy Dumpty. Uh, seriously carried out a clown hall meeting where he just lied directly to Americans' faces. It was troubling that, you know, some of them were, you know, black women. Um, we're going to talk about that. But before we get into that... Also, uh, just two more quick comments. Uh, uh, Sean underscore 4100, what up, though? Uh, I want to say AG Fit, definitely. Um, I saw that for sure. You're going to talk about the white privilege gets two Tulsa cops shot, one dead. Yeah, we, I saw that shit where they automatically that, think we can put that in our us. final thoughts, man, tonight for sure. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but uh before we get into the clown hall meeting, we're gonna talk about uh we're gonna tell you to check your selfie. Uh because yeah. uh you know, all this little viral social media and video shit has gotten uh Michael Caputo, uh the head spokesman for the human and health services department, HHS. Uh, he's on. He's on a medical leave now after spreading some conspiracy theories uh, on social media. We're gonna talk about that. Yeah, he got sick, sick in the head. Fuck that motherfucker. When I see him in these streets, in these streets, run but hand. But before we get into that, uh, we're gonna talk about mask appeal right here. Savage AF. It is September 16, twenty twenty. Follow at comedian Shang at Black Pedro. Uh, yes. If you don't like your mask, you might have to be stuck with it for a while because Dr. Robert Redfield, head of the CDC today, uh, said that a, an effective vaccine probably won't be widely available, even if you're fucking with it, until next summer. So yes. in addition to that, he also said that even above a vaccine, he feels more protected by a mask because you might take a vaccine and it might not work for you but 
that mask will help protect you even more than it that. will help protect you yeah yeah oh uh, no and it, this is the other thing about that since we're talking about the mask thing basically these motherfuckers have made it a political situation instead of a health situation and now finally you see some people with some cojones the motherfuckers come out with some cojones and tell the truth okay Both. the fucking Both. vaccine it's not happening okay it's not going to happen when you think it's going to happen. I know you think it's going to happen before the election, you stupid cunt. But it's not happening, okay? So you might as well mask up and keep it going. Now you can rob people, and they will never know who you are. Wear your mask, okay? I'm just yeah, telling you, okay? Now I'm going to dance. Go ahead, tell them. And dance. now it is time when we dance, man. Now but, it's time to dance. I will see you later, but I will be back. I will dance. Speaking of dancing, you know, uh, your boy Trumpy Dumpty, <laughs> You know, in his press rally today, said that, that Robert, <laughs> it was hilarious. Said that Dr. it's like Robert watching stand up. He said that Dr. Robert Redfield must have been when challenged because he was he's clearly contradicting his own CDC at this point, and he's been doing it the whole time. But he he literally was like, "Oh, I think he was confused about the question." What? This 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 is your CDC director, dog. He's working under you. I, you know. Yeah. Oh, oh. He did the same shit in Cali. He told the scientists. Yeah, maybe scientists are wrong. Maybe yeah. you wrong, motherfucker. Yeah. Why he can't the fire burn his ass up? He was talking to uh, you know state representatives about exploding trees and shit like that, um, and was like, yeah, I don't think the scientists really know, uh, even though the planet is clearly getting hotter and the weather's getting weirder, and. Uh, all of that shit. Shawnee, we see you in the building. What's up, Bermuda, in the house? We hope you're safe out there. What, what's going on? I see y'all in the building. All of, uh, you know, a couple comedians jumped on. What's up, you comedy motherfuckers? What's going on with it? And, you know, uh, <laughs> okay, and uh, A.G. Fitz said they're injecting the virus. What? Injecting said, the virus of anything is a risk. This is true. Yeah. I, but I think that the fact that they somebody finally had the balls, they had the balls. You don't have the balls. Somebody had the balls to say, yo, this shit ain't going to be ready till next year. So you might as well thing. gear up. And and, yeah. and, and and for those who, uh, you know, don't understand, and, and AJ Fit 365 says mask it or casket. You know what I mean? And um, it might, you know, it, it, that's a little hyperbolic, but, you know, that's what it is. It's it's more like the mask is going to help you out more in the, in the in the short term because – what they're saying is that you might need two doses of a vaccine, of this vaccine, in order to, for it to be efficacious, right? So that being said, you take the number of people in America, you'd have to take those doses times two and then understand how long it would take to actually produce that amount. Um, or how long it'll take before a foot grows out your forehead and when you hit the ground, you'll keep running. Yeah. Plus, also, you know, you fall also, face. An interesting thing with this is that, yeah, is that, um, you know, even Democrats, even, even Joe Biden today was just like, you know, sounds a little bit like us. Like, no, I'm not about to just, just take that. Right. Because this administration lies so much. It's like, why the fuck would I believe yo hurried rush you know, all of a sudden, instantaneous vaccine that came out of nowhere. Like, you're, no, like, I need this to, to be vetted a little bit longer. I need to listen to some other voices other than you and Pillow Man. And, you know, yeah. I mean, like, it, it, you know, so even Joe Biden and other top Democrats are like, you know, Kamala said it too. It's like, you can't trust this dude. So I'd fuck with a vaccine if it met certain criteria and you know i i'm i'm a long right guy. right I, i've taken vaccines i would i would life, take i would i would take it i would take more tuberculosis or some shit like that you yeah I mean? man i take more advice from dr zeus instead of this motherfucker okay <laughs> this is that is the dumbest shit he done lied so much even he lies about his lies lie and then he lies about the lie he just said you know how many mm -hmm. lies that is in a row and when he was you know basically trying to push this only because he thinks people are dumb enough because his people are dumb enough. All his followers are definitely dumb enough. Fuck them. They dumb. That's it. We always try to say, well, let's see their side of it. You know what say, side I see? They need the side to see this side of my hand. And this side of my hand. They need to see both sides <laughs> of side, hands. Back side, front side, back side, front side. Back side, front side. They need the back five. <laughs> like, it's what? bullshit. And I'm so glad that somebody, and I think that more doctors internationally just need to step out and say, listen, 
This ain't like you could just give this shit so you can get more votes. Motherfuckers are having cardiac problems that were in the testing. The people in the testing, that's why they stopped the testing, because motherfuckers' hearts started having, like, film grow over it and shit. <laughs> yeah, man, man. Yeah, this is, fuck all that. Fuck so, and I'm going to trust a country that said, yeah, we don't really like niggas that much. So what's a way we could get all y'all in one swoop or at least <laughs> decrease your numbers? That's the conspiracy theory of me. Like, yo, if they could do the Tuskegee experiment, they could do this shit again, especially this yeah. this administration and the way that Caucasians or European Americans or the pigmently challenged have been acting towards us. I could I could see that shit. So y'all can start y'all little talking shit about me now, but I'm telling you right now, I they 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 have done some devious shit and they're still doing devious shit. It's all diabolical right now, man. Diabolical. What's up, Mr. Shonda? We see you. Um oh, okay, here we go with we'll publicity mag jo Man. You read it. I ain't gonna even read it. Joe Biden, Joe, Joe, Biden and, Joe Biden and Kamala lie also. She just said we will definitely forgive student debt for HBCU alumni. You know, that that's not the topic we on. It, I know it's hard to stay focused. I don't know if you have an iron deficiency publicity mag. Um, you know, but what I suggest is um beets, you know what I mean? Not by Dre, but the actual vegetable. The actual vegetable beets. Get, They're good get, for you. Yeah, and there's a good source of iron, so get that in. And it, it really helps your brain out a lot. It really does. Fructose as well. So, you know, naturally squeezed juices, cold press. Go with a cold press juice. Yes. But um, you know what? Also, you know what would help you? If you went behind a horse and you <laughs> smacked it on the ass real hard and, and then, then let the horse. And then open your mouth. <laughs> open your mouth and, and let the horse kick you in your motherfucking skull. What's wrong with you? I hate people that if I'm talking about apples, you go, yeah, but what about papayas? Motherfucker, we ain't talking about papayas. All right. We're talking about this president that has been clocked over 20,000 fucking lies, provable lies. And you want to bring up Joe Biden and Kamala made a lie about uh, HBCU. How about you caress the entire circumference of a donkey's dick? I'm sorry. <laughs> Prime, Min Prime Minister, Tays, welcome to the show. Always. Uh, he said beats by agriculture. And he said uh, giraffe kick. Uh, call back to yesterday. Oh, yeah. Y'all see? Y'all <laughs> thought I was joking when I said you know, that shit. Giraffes. That shit's real. Giraffes is giraffes ain't nothing to fuck with. They will now, kick I, a lion's I mean, head off. I mean, yeah, if a giraffe kick you, it's like, it's a wrap. I Sorry. never I live, thought that. I live next door to a hospital or like a block away, so that, that's why there's always fucking ambulances and shit going by. Sorry, guys. Yeah. People dying out here. People dying in these streets. I live, yeah, I live, I live right up the street. Meanwhile, okay, we know they're liars. So, so is Trump. Pick your poison. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, you can pick your poison because sometimes you know what? There's some shit that'll make you sick and you'll live, right? Just like the COVID, there's a lot of people that live. But guess what? There's some shit will kill you dead. And four right. more years of this motherfucker, this this tangerine butt crust. If he if if so, he get in, it's gonna it's be like worse. This. It's like this. It's tomato, tomato. Uh, Joe Biden, Kamala Harris, a lot of Democrats lie. But there's a like L-I-E. Uh, Trumpy Dumpty and the Republicans, they're like L-Y-E, like the shit you lay your hair down with, that lie. And if you swallow they that, are just on if, if you swallow yeah. that, it's poison, man. Speaking of poison, uh, check your selfie. Uh, you got uh, Michael Caputo, who was the, the, the top spokesperson, you know, basically, you know, the the media guy, the, the, the mouthpiece for the, the department of HHS, the Health and Human Services Department. And um, he, he went on this past weekend. And uh, on, when I say on, I believe on Facebook, you know, it, it, you know, I, I, I believe a few million people saw it. But he posted this, you know, selfie video rant about how the deep state um, scientists are out to get Trumpy Dumpty and uh, that, you know, Trump supporters should arm themselves on election day. Um, and now he he's taking a, a 60 day medical leave. Uh, first of all, 60 days should be extended to infinity. Like, yeah just lost your this job right like you should not be allowed back at your job yeah you, you shouldn't even allowed to be you shouldn't even allowed to you shouldn't be allowed to speak at all and and and, and if we do have a civil war i want to see you on the front line okay since you're trying to basically start a civil war i want to see your bitch ass on the front line with no motherfucking gun and let's go hand to hand 
bitch, bitch. I mean, it's just like when you hear shit like that. Let me ask you something, Pedro. Now I know that you got Gertrude. Don't it make you go? You know what? I am so glad I went and did that because imagine we flash forward six months from now. Biden wins by chance. I still don't think he's gonna win because I think that they're gonna cheat their ass off. I hope he wins, but I'm saying Trump. They cheat like a motherfucker, and. We, we're in the midst of a, a people saying, well, no, it was fake news. Uh, our president won, and they start 33 million, or 33% of the country starts fighting and shooting people up and acting up. What do we do then? And since we got you as a good shot, I say everybody that's part of Savage AF, get behind Pedro. Get behind him. <laughs> Shoot him, Pedro. Don't get, get him. Over there. Don't get in front Over there, Pedro. Um, yeah, no, it's, uh, you know, it, it's one of those things. Like, oh, my uh, God. I just want to make sure if anything pops off that I'm not standing here with a fucking picket sign or an idea <laughs> about how America should be. But I'm going to have that Second Amendment right in my hand and, and that wow. second, ama- so now- second Amendment left <laughs> in my other hand. Yes. So Publicity Mag said that I'm going to read the shit Publicity Mag said. Y'all are the black equivalent of white Trump voters. They can tell y'all anything and y'all will buff dance. Wow, you said butt dance until the music stops. Hey, bro, listen, this is this is a this is a times times two times three minus four situation where sometimes audience member and we know publicity mag ain't been back in a while. Uh, you know, sometimes they get lock, locked up outside of the Seven Eleven uh, for you know stripping butt naked and yelling at people and trying to throw their own poop. Uh, because you know that's how publicity mags rants go. Sometimes they're just. A bit incoherent, uh, you know what I mean? Hey, and, but I never, I haven't heard somebody say buck dance. What the fuck? I know what it, I know what you're talking about. Well, you know what a buck come. is? A buck is, you yeah. know, a good, good slave, big old healthy slave. Oh, we, number one, how are we buck dancing, calling out the absolute positive, unequivocal, yeah, I said those three in a row, the absolute facts pertaining to the situation of what we're talking about. We're not saying that the Democrats don't lie or no one else on the Democrat side are, are racist. There's, there's, Factions of Democrats that are racist too, but we're talking about the person that's in charge. He keeps saying, "And Joe Biden's America, and Joe Biden, motherfucker, you president." He All literally, right, so he literally, he, uh, Trump yeah. dumped it last night in, in the in the clown hall meeting, and we're gonna get to it. Fuck it, I, I'm gonna save that for that topic, but we'll, we'll transition into that very shortly. We'll but, transition into but that. Basically, but basically, we, we nobody's telling us anything over here, right? Like, we look at news, we filter that shit, right? What I'm talking about is the video I saw of Michael Caputo. Oh, Eve's in the building. Suluminati's in the building, and Eve is in the building. We see y'all. We love y'all. Thank you. What I saw on video was the spokesperson for the Health and Human Services Department talking about deep state scientists who are conspiring against Trumpy Dumpty and telling people to arm themselves. And when you say publicity mag that we should only worry about um, black issues, uh, my nigga, first of all, health in America, public health is a black issue. Uh, a cracker ass spokesman for the Human and Health Services Department telling people to arm themselves is an extremely black issue, my homie. So if you can't connect those dots, you know what I mean? And we need to number each dot so you can figure out how the picture come together. Or maybe your crayon is too dull right. or whatever the fuck is going on. But understand that we are paying attention over here. So... All the issues we talk about usually connect to black lives in some way, somehow. Yeah, and, 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 and you know what? This is the last time I'm going to say something. I'm going to say something against you. It's just like, I just get the impression you're one of those kids that used to eat the chalk when the teacher wasn't looking. Like, you seem like a little chalk eater, you fucking idiot. A big chalk eater. And a I'm big chalk eater, actually. A big chalk eater. And so, so, yeah, listen, all that dumb shit that we buck dancing, like, for the, no, we said we said we talk about both sides pretending to the Democrats making mistakes, the Republicans making mistakes. If Kamala says something, that's all point. We will check her. <laughs> but end of the day, come on, publicity, man. Come on. Eve, come on. Eve, come Eve, on. Eve's underscore Apple seven nine one six. And, and, and uh, of course, what you don't want is Miss Adverb on your ass. But Eve's underscore Apple is like, <laughs> I didn't want to say it, but she said, what up, you dry pussy, limp dick bitch. <laughs> that's just. That's Savage AF, and if you just chimed in on that part, understand that's that part. We are Savage AF. We say fuck your feelings all day long on this show, Monday through Friday. 
Mondays and Fridays, 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, Tuesday through Thursday, 6 p.m. Pacific yeah, Standard Time. Yeah, and, 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 and at the end of the day, what we're saying about this whole situation is if there was a black representative, we always play, but people always say that, but it's the truth. If it was a black representative who said, arm yourself, go out and start killing crackers. And, but I'm the head of health services, but hey, if our, our, arm yourself and start protecting, you know, the rights of, of black people, even if they, we, we deserve to actually have our rights protected, they would lose their fucking mind. So you know what? He was out of line. He shouldn't have no job to come back to. He shouldn't get a, 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 a paid leave or a leave at all. It should Michael be leave, Kuda. motherfucking leave forever. <laughs> yeah. And they Just will, leave, bitch. Yeah. Just leave, bitch. And it's uh, like, that's the same thing. How do, you, how do you get away with that? How do you get on national television or on any national fucking, any national platform and say some of the crazy shit that Wright has said and still have your fucking job. You can't do that if you work at motherfucking Target. You couldn't say no shit like, hey, I know we're in the board meeting, everybody. Thank you guys for coming. By the way, um, the all the state people, is after the president. Everybody the, should get guns yes, and go in on election get day your gun. now. Back to now, the everybody, what's up? Are we selling enough Halloween stuff? Because I don't yeah, think so Halloween's going to pop what off. What I found is that in the third quarter, yeah, you can't. You yeah, can't it's like, it uh, what are you talking about? That's just normal, common. You're not you, supposed to do that. When you try and do that, I think you are a clown. And last night we saw one have a clown hall meeting, not a town hall meeting, but a clown but hall a meeting. Clown, and he was so out of his ABC depth. ABC News yeah, he hosted was, it. George Stephanopoulos moderated it. Socially distanced, uh, you know, sparse crowd. But people got to ask questions. And in particular, I, you know, I saw two black women ask questions that, you know, the answers were frustrating. And one of the, one of the black women's, the black women's, that's what I just said. That's the wine. You just said black it. women's. Black that's women's. What, that's, what that, that's what that wine will do. <laughs> one of the black women's was like, uh, no, she's, uh, she was the older of the two. And, you know, she at some point was just like, let me finish my question, sir. sir thank you. You know, like she had to cut him off from cutting her off. But, um, you know, when, when asked about health care, uh, when asked about downplaying the virus, I mean... When asked like, about race said, relations, when he, he asked he, about anything, he, he, he couldn't he answer it. He said he upplayed the virus, actually. I mean, he said this to a black woman's face. Yes. A masked face. It had a mask, but... It, 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 oh, I mean, no. It, literally, I, I can't think of any answer he said that was actually... Uh, a direct answer or anything that was coherent. The motherfucker actually, they say Biden is slow. And now Biden had a, Biden as a young man had a stutter, a very bad stutter, and he overcame it. So I can see sometimes when he's trying to say something, that is what it is. But at the same time, other than him playing, you know, trying to can't pay, pander, which I don't like that. I don't like what I don't like what white people pander at all. I mean, just be your motherfucking self. We know you white. Don't have to act like you grew up in, you know, eight mile. I get it, okay, <laughs> motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? A lot of you motherfuckers didn't grow up in the hood, all right? So stop it, okay? I was yeah. talking to a fighter from Detroit, uh, Keith Lee, who's the brother, younger brother of Kevin Lee on an MMA roaster today, and he was saying, no, I, I don't need to learn about fighting as much. I seen fighting in Detroit. Detroit, people from Detroit will fight you. So, oh, like, there's certain shit, and you know I'm telling the truth. They will. Hey, and hey. so I, the, the main thing I'm trying to say is, we're just stating a fact. Anybody out there, we're just stating a fact of what was said from the fucking clown-ass president. He said dumbass answers, and he made no fucking sense. He looked like a child. He was sitting there with his hands between his legs, crouching down a little bit. And that's one of the signs of dementia. I'm just telling you, I read up on it. He might have dementia. Well, and, you know, and, it, and Omni said, you don't think Harris is pandering? She panders, too. But you know what? I'd rather have a panderer panda than a motherfucking racist gr grizzly. Do you understand? And that's what's happening. If we let these motherfuckers get back in, Trump needs his ass beat in this election. All, Trump all, needs to get, I mean, beat. All, all politicians pander. It, 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 Everybody. It's, it's just a thing that happens. You know, like uh, Barack Obama in his first um, campaign pandered to Christians, said that, you know, Marriage is between a man and a woman. And then his he got his, his he second, got his shit together a little bit. His yeah. second, well, it's not even getting. He pandered to a crowd. He never believed that marriage is between a man and a woman. He he 
Barack Obama don't give a fuck if a man marries a zebra, if a monkey marries a dog. He don't give a fuck about that. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's not how he sits around thinking. Um, right. So his second campaign, once he's in, got, got a lock on, you know, a certain base. Then he was like, you know what? Marriage is for everybody. Now you lock in the, the gay vote. You know what I'm saying? Um, the LGBTQ vote. So um, there, there's a, a lot of pandering that goes on on both sides. You, you got to an, understand what are they pandering for? You know what I mean? And, and, and what is and, what is Trump's what is Trump's platform? What is name some idea that Trump came up with other than you know backing still, dictators? He still has. He don't released, got nothing. He, he is anti and and you know the 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 older black woman who asked him about healthcare specifically and you know the uh, maintenance of um, the sort of pre existing conditions um, lenience that. The Affordable Care Act brought about. By the way, I'm gonna stop calling it Obamacare because that just becomes this thing for them to latch onto, like Obama, Obama, and it right. really, it's called the Affordable Care Act, the ACA. It's been the it's Affordable not, Care Act, yeah, exactly. Obamacare. So it's the Affordable Care Act. She wants to make make sure that the protections um, for pre-existing conditions remain, um, you know, and, and and you know the Republicans, Trump. They want to bash the Affordable Care Act, but Trumpy Dumpty to this day has not presented any fucking plan at all. Like no plan. He said it was coming in two weeks, and then it was two weeks, then it was three months, and then it was five months. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. I mean, what's what's up? What's up? K killing them. Is a Q killing them? My bad. I said K. I'm tripping. What's up? What's up? What's up? Yo, I'm just saying, y'all need to get up off that fucking dumb shit, all right? Let's be real with it, all right? The end of the day, y'all know that he's fucked up in the head. He's been fucked up in the head. He's never been a good person, ever, ever, ever. He fucked around with prostitutes while his wife was pregnant. He's a horrible human being with no moral center whatsoever. And the Bob Woodward book actually uh, emphasized that. Every book that's come up about him, his niece, his fucking sister, everybody says the same shit. But you right wing motherfuckers keep saying it. So it doesn't mean we're just like the Trump supporters from the left. We're just stating the motherfucking facts. This is the facts. In okay. that clown hall meeting, he looked like a fucking buffoon. He couldn't answer any questions. He was like acting like a little child ass bitch. He said dumb shit. I played it up. Eat a bag of dicks. And anybody that backs this motherfucker, I don't care if you the baddest bitch on the planet. And you was like, let me suck your dick, Shang. I'm like, you back Trump? Uh, yes, I do. Get the fuck out of my house. And I might push you down the steps. Get the fuck out of here. Because you're too dumb. I think that you might give me head and through your mouth cause more stupidity to come into my body through your mouth. And I don't need that because it's contagious it from you idiots. Okay, and uh, they, see, hey. I understand publicity, Mag. Get it in. But Shut up, man. I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I can't. Publi this is one of them days where Publicity Mag needs to sit in the corner. Justin Wings Wade, make sure you guys follow this dude. Uh, you know, fantastic actor, very funny dude, very funny comedian. Make sure you guys wow. follow Justin Wings Wade. Oh, we got, Wade. okay, cool. You'll Shout definitely, out. You'll also, definitely recognize this dude when you see him. But uh, yeah. Well, it, Pedro, it, it, we got a good question I'm going to ask you because even though we're on the clown hall meeting portion of this, okay, A1, saucy, underscore, app, said, is there anything Trump could give you for his support. Is, uh, all right, everybody yeah. on here, is there anything? Yeah. What? Um, so if he was running, if he was going to take a long run, what's up, Lisa Tanker in the building? If he was going to take a long run off a short pier, that would be something I would support. So if he ran for that, like if he, I, I would fully support him in that. But as far as running for president or anything like that, uh no, they're like no, this is beyond repair, right? Like this is one of them relationships where you know sh she done called you worthless or told you your career ain't worth shit or you a little dick motherfucker, even if you ain't. But once you say it, that shit gonna be uh, I'll yeah, you be, be every time you look at him, yo. one day and be like, how the fuck yeah. did you say that shit? You know what I mean? It's just gonna it's gonna explode. It's so. it's too late. It's too late and he is he has he fanned the flames of fucking racism for too long. The Central Park Five, if we go back to the lawsuits he had pertaining to housing, on and on and on. What the fuck do y'all need to see for this motherfucker for you to denounce him is what I'm saying. And his 
his fans, his cult, his blood cult, this Waco fucking cult of his, all of them, all of them can collectively suck a hobo's diseased dick. I don't give a fuck no more. That ain't shit he could do. Somebody asked me today, would I take a picture with Trump, at least take a picture with Trump? If he came over to me, I'd let him get near me, and I'd throw him one of those quick little elbows, like, the fuck off me. <laughs> fuck out of here. And then his little tiny hands would go, oh, my God, y'all so full of shit. If he's pic- so, if y'all think he's such a something moral, like this. Yeah, like, or, yeah, like, fuck, fuck him. him. Like, like, if y'all so in support of him, all you men on here that got daughters, if you got a daughter, let Trump take his little tiny orange Cheeto hands and grab her by the pussy and see what happened. See what happened. And, yeah. oh, oh, shit. Publicity mag. I don't know if you got kids because they know you're a hermaphrodite. You know what I'm saying? You got a dick and a pussy. You got a dussy. Let me tell you something. All right? <laughs> if you had a daughter, since you backed this motherfucker so much, would you let him grab her pussy? Yeah. Yeah. I'm um, just, I don't know. Yeah. You know, it, it, it's one of them things, man. You know, uh, and, and, you know, Publicity Mag never fucking states a point of view. They're just like, y'all stupid. Y'all can't read. I'm the smartest. And it's like, what's your plan, bro? What is your thing? What are you doing? Um, that being said, speaking of plans, uh, the Big Ten. Oh, good- shit. You got, yeah, you got answered. I do not back Trump. Okay. Okay, fine. You you sound like you back Trump. Yeah, and otherwise shut yeah. the fuck up then and go vote <laughs> for the other motherfucker. It's called a and shut your ass up. Like shit. <laughs> like shut your ass up then. By the way, update on that polo on po- polo po- po- polo shit with my high school classmate. Like uh much like publicity mag and other descending voices on here, he just became repetitive like in response to my response, he was just like the people of Portland are taking over and the government is blah, blah, blah. And there's no more and no voting and we don't need to vote anymore. And I'm like, bro, you don't even live in Portland. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, and still has never answered my original question, which was just, what does this image of niggas in the liquor store with their pants around their ankles have to do with, with political revolution in Portland? Like, I'm not seeing it, bro. And they throwing up gang signs and... I'm like, just just answer that part for me. I and just want to understand right. your and meaning. He's not, he, he's not going to answer it. And yeah, next they, time you're at a, next time you go to one of those class reunions and he happens to be there, you're probably going to have to give him the back five. Um, <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah, you really yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, are we playing golf? No, this is a different kind of back five, bitch. Let me let me, give, let okay. me give you a tour of the room. Here's the left. Here's the right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no. Okay. You, listen. Okay. I, we're not going to talk about uh, uh, the hermaphrodite. Our hermaphrodite visiting hermaphrodite. Okay. Um, we're going to the talk end about- of the day is. Yeah, we're going to talk about this other shit. But at the end of the day, I just want to say to everybody. By the way, this is Savage AF brought to you by the world famous Laugh Factory. Make sure that you follow at Black Pedro and make sure you follow me if you get a chance at Comedian Shang. Um, yo. We're just saying that basically we are saying Savage AF is coming from a point of view of this is the facts. This ain't my personal opinion. My my personal opinion is burn the whole shit down. So the whole show can't be literally burn everything down and start over because I think that this is a (laughs) racist society that was built on racism. And the only way you're going to do it is to get rid of all the old racists and get some people that have progressive thought and want to move forward. We can't do that. So in turn, we can just say Savage AF, yeah. fuck that's your true. feelings. And that's why I yes. hate Miss Adverb. She's going to say, put the lotion in the fucking basket. And if you get that reference, y'all, it puts the lotion on itself. <laughs> she crazy. Yeah. All right, so speaking of uh, reverse and field, that's a uh, silence of the lambs, by the way. Yeah, um, the silence, by the way. The silence of the lambs. So uh, re- reverse field. <laughs> Reverse field, guys. Uh, the Big Ten. Oh, this is so stupid. This, this is so this, this, stupid, this Pedro. My oh, my this God. This is my country. This is where I come from. Hail to the victor, valiant. Hail to the conquering. Stop. Stop, it. Stop, it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Big Michigan football uh, fan. That's how I learned about Okay, but that's just dumb. So as These much kids as I, are going to get as much as I want to see them play. As much as I want to see them play, I, I am highly disappointed. And understand that the Big Ten is run by a black man. Kevin Warren is his name. I've served him at my restaurant recently, this year. Uh, he's, <laughs> this he's year, stupid. I have served him at my restaurant. And uh, he's not stupid. He, he, from what I could tell in my interactions, he's a good brother. Um, but um, 
there is this overall pressure, right? There right. is this idea that younger people aren't as affected. Um, and even though there are studies showing enlarged hearts in some of these athletes afterwards and and and, and other yeah. cardiovascular uh, I problems. Disagree. Um, the, the Big Ten says they're going to open up on the, the 23rd and 24th. And uh, so we're about a week away from that. Um, I, I do believe this is a mistake, man. Just to like around, you know, they say they got protocols in place, daily testing, yada, yada, yada. But honestly, unless you're doing it like the NBA, you ain't doing it, dog. Like, they're going to do a nine-game schedule. But if you're not doing it like the NBA, dog, you're not doing it. And you know what, you know what I realized is, like, I realized this a couple days ago that in, in, in normal times, I would, I, we would have been on game two or three of the Michigan football schedule. And no part of my body shut down. My kidneys didn't shut down. I didn't have a stroke or an aneurysm. My heart didn't stop because Michigan didn't play football. There's right. a time in my life where I would have thought, like, I can't, I can't go without this. I have to see this comedy. I, I mean, I'm sorry. I have to see this football game. I have to see Michigan play. But given the times we're in, my body didn't miss it at all. My mind didn't. Right. My, my spirit doesn't miss it at all. Um, so I, I, I am disappointed, man, that – that the Big Ten went ahead and re because they originally they were going to wait until the spring, uh, but now, fuck it, get this money right. Well, uh, L. Noop said that it's basically about the money, and we know that it's about the money, but there's got to be a certain point. And there was something that somebody had asked, it, and they were like, you know, um, I don't know if I think it was Bob Woodward, and because there was more um, tape that came out, out there was a whole hour of Bob Woodward talking, and he's going to be on MSNBC, I think tonight or tomorrow, no tomorrow, and. Basically, where Trump comes from the point of view, everything is about money. Yeah. And even though Bob Woodward said, no, health is first. You can't make money if you're dead, you fucking idiots. Ugh. Listen, I, the, these young men and women out there that are supporting this, I get it. I get it. People love football, and they can feel like they can't live without football, and you're go not blue. alive if you're not without football. Go it's blue. bullshit. Wait until go blue. I get it, but wait until yeah. we can get in a position where people are actually better. Safe. It's a better situation. America has fucked it up. We're we're way down the fucking list of people that handle this pandemic correctly. Yeah. And I understand they think it's some kind of hoax, and people think it's a hoax. It's not real, and all that other shit. Viruses happen. Bad shit happens pertaining to health. Heart failure, all kind of shit. Kidney problems. I can say that personally. I mean. Very much personally. Yeah. And I'm telling you right now, shit happens and makes bad things for bad people. Tuberculosis and everything else. None of them are hoaxes. Yeah. Are, 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 is tuberculosis a hoax? But people say, well, why? Why?" I saw this dude, but this brother was saying, why is it? Why, is it, why weren't people wearing a mask with tuberculosis? Millions of people died from that. Nigga, because not tuberculosis. Disease, I don't think. It's no, not I don't a, know. Right. It's a different, <laughs> no, no, it's a different situation. Yeah. Uh, okay, and Come if on, and somebody said hoax, it's a it's not a hoax, and we just are in a situation where shit is bad because of some yeah. dumb shit because a motherfucker ate a bat. Okay, <laughs> got it. Shit's fucked up. That's it. But you can't act like there's no other situation. Stop it. And then to, it's a question <clears throat> me and Pedro's intellect because we actually see this side of it because we're not the only people. Okay, sixty three percent of the American public pertaining to polls don't trust Trump. Don't trust the GOP. The people that back those people don't like them, don't think that they are good people. And if you look at any Trump rally, listen to the fucking shit they're saying. Listen to the divisive, fucked up, Bro. backward, redneck, they racist have, shit. They have a rally Come on, outside when was America my, great? They have a yeah. rally outside my job basically every Saturday that I have to fucking witness. And you have to bite your tongue because Pedro was going to chop off somebody's head with a, 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 a tray. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like... How many people can my Audi kill? Hey! Yes. <laughs> I just want to hear that sound under my tire sometimes. Like, tum, 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 tum. <laughs> but uh, okay. here's the real problem yeah. with the Big Ten uh, opening up, guys. Uh, and I don't know if we realize this, if you're not a sports fan, but um, in the collegiate ranks, uh, conferences operate regionally, right? So you have your Atlantic Coast Conference, your Southeast Conference, uh, the Pac-10 is the Pacific, well, they're the Pac-12 uh, now, 
Uh, the Pac-12 yeah. uh, is, uh, you know, Pacific 12, right? So they're mostly on the West Coast. Um, the Big Ten at this point literally consists of 14 teams. I remember when Penn State became the 11th team in the Big Ten, and that was over 20 years ago. So, like, literally, dog, like, the Big Ten is not, is, hasn't been 10 teams for a long time. And at this point, the Big Ten spans from Rutgers and University of Maryland, which is New Jersey and Maryland, coastal uh, states, all the way to fucking Nebraska. And, and that, that's their main promo uh, commercial during the season is they show graphically all the states that they span. <laughs> so when you're talking about taking teams from Maryland to Nebraska, from Minnesota to New Jersey, from Michigan to Nebraska, down to uh, Illinois. Okay, you know what that's called? Iowa. I'm going to just tell you what that's You know what that's called, Pedro? Super spreaders. Bro, it's the that's biggest it conference. Is. It's the biggest conference. It's super you spreading. It's so spread out across the nation as a conference. It literally goes you. from the East Coast to Nebraska. Like, are you out of your fucking mind? And you want to ship these kids it's back and forth? It's dumb. Forward? And I, I know that Fuck you said a brother here, that's heading it up. It's dumb. Black people do dumb shit too, pretending to this COVID thing. I'm not saying that. People always say on here, I've had comments in my inbox about me playing the race car. Number one, again, don't have the deck, bitches. I'm not the one that always, I, I wake up and try to be a human being. You the one always bringing color to us. It's you the one always fucking pulling us. Yeah. It's called black you the one always starting. It's called black jack yeah. for a reason. It's not called white jack, is it, huh? Not called yeah, jack. yeah. It's you not don't want called... wax to jack, do you? Maybe yeah, we. But you know why we don't want white jack people jack. to jack? Because y'all done already jacked the country and you already jacked the democracy with your bullshit. And having this kind of a president as president, that's what you did. That you know, with that that racist ass old school <laughs> fucking electoral that electoral college shit is some old bitch shit. Yeah, and we know that. Okay, Real so shit. and you know what? The, and all y'all. I want somebody to take a uh, horse sperm, put it in a hand in their hand on a glove, and smack you across your mouth if you back this motherfucker. Just yeah. horse sperm, sticky yeah, icky, pop across your icky, face. Icky, I'm trying to think of the most like horrible shit that you would never forget. Like, did this motherfucker smack me across the mouth with horse sperm? You'll never forget that shit. So that being, I'm just telling you that. All that being said, as a huge Michigan fan, I, I, I'm, I, I'm boycotting the NFL. But I'm going to watch, and I'm going to support my squad. Oh, my God. No, <laughs> no, but, no, you're not. But I'm be praying. My hopes and prayers are going out and hope that they well, stay Well, you might safe. as well. You're, 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 you know what? Then you're back in super spreaders. <laughs> it's too spread out, I Pedro. No, if you, no, no, Pedro. You're not getting off on this one. I need Publicity football, Mag, right. you can even get on him on this one. I'm getting on you on this. I need if you're, some, if you, I need no, some No, no. They, they don't I need, need to do this, man. I need a haircut. I no, no, man. I need, I need the club. I need a bar. I need to drink. I need omelets and beer. Omelets and beer, man. Uh, I'm but just I'm not, telling I, like you, I, man. I never encourage the Big Ten to do it. But if you're gonna do but it, but Big Ten do don't it. need to do this shit now. Wait till spring. Wait till fucking spring. It's there. stupid. And I know there's a brother that's ahead of it. He's dumb too. There's a lot of really dumb, dumb people. Every once some, I had people wanting to fight me. Because I said Whitney Houston is the one that got Bobby Brown on that crack. She and they said, no, it couldn't. Have. And it's like, it was Bobby Brown. No, motherfucker. It was Whitney Houston was the one that was cracking it up. Bobby Brown was, you know smoking, Bammer, he was smoking Bammer weed and drinking Crown Royal. A typical nigga life. And then Whitney Right. Came, and Whitney, Whitney said, that, well, you, try, that you need to try this crack. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to ride. Ride the white horse. <laughs> yeah, white no, I'm lines. just saying right now. So, Pedro, Ride you cannot watch line. it if you. I am not watching the NFL because I'm not as much of an NFL, NFL fan, NFL. but I'm saying. But I'm, I'm not watching, watching none of those conferences. No, none of the football because they are going to be super spreading. You just broke it down. It is too far apart for them to yeah. contain it. The yeah, NBA, it was, see, stop man, it. it listen, stop it. The I, NBA did it right. The NBA did Absolutely. it right, and you know it. And Absolutely. they're not going to do it right because it's too far apart. So fuck that. This was a dumb hey. reverse. They need to they, they need to not do it and wait till spring so we got a little bit more. So stop it. Wait, we got to salute. We got to salute Rodney Perry live. Make sure you guys follow. 
Uh, good to see you here, bro. We know, we know you. We know you fought your battle, and and, and I, I hope your battle's over. Um, but yeah, I, I'm so happy to see you here. But but listen, this is a day one, dude. Oh, when and I happy got birthday, to, Ronnie. Happy, yeah, happy belated birthday. birthday. When I got to L.A., Rodney Perry was a cat. You know, he used to host nights around town and and have nights, and I, I could be a part of those thanks to a brother like that. So. Um, shout out, salute to Rodney Perry live. Make sure you guys follow him right now. Okay, don't even follow yes. him out. No, let me. Uh, like, right. We're going. I know we're going to talk about the next thing. We can in, we can encompass the other stuff that was asked by Jay Fit, and you yeah, know, are we going to talk about it? With within <laughs> that, I just with it, it in capsule. We can collectivize it into it. I just feel like, uh, and you're wrong with the Big Ten. Is just it, that's going to be I, a bad. Thing. I don't. I don't support them opening. But if they open, it's like, look, look, I didn't support restaurants opening back up in L.A., but I work at one. I had to go back. And now I go to restaurants. And if they do any right, then, yeah, I'm going to do it. Like, so the Big Ten but says they, they're going to do it right. Because the restaurants in one central location, <laughs> the Big Ten is, it's going to be across the country pretty much. Even. No, no. Then you might as well watch NFL. I got Fuck it. that. Hey, listen, in order to rebuke it, I have to see it, my brother. You know what I'm saying? So oh, okay. I have well, to I got, witness. I got, I got, I'm a, no, I'm a, no, I'm a, no, I'm a no, no, witness no, no. unto the heathenism. And then so that I, can I will give you, you the words. And I will give it back to you unto thee. Shall I deliver They going to shut truth? that shit down. They, they need to shut that shit down and keep it shut down until we get some <laughs> kind of similar to fucking three control. quarters. It's going to last three quarters. But I want to see the three. Just because. Oh goodness! The NFL. All right. Well, I'm on. Hey, I, hey, I totally am not watching. I am not watching it. I think it's a dumb decision to reverse anything in the Big Ten. Starting <laughs> when is it? Starting soon. It's yeah. just fucking stupid. In about a week, it's man. dumb, and they're going to make it worse, hey. and it's going to make this whole pandemic thing longer and longer, and we're never going to get out of it. And all the other countries are going to be laughing at us, going, "Oh, y'all kept going because y'all wanted some football for colleges. Get the fuck out of here. That's." Dumb. So now, I don't know whatever the brother's wait, name is. They, I wish I could they, talk to him. If they pack out the stadiums and shit like that or let any fans in, then I'm going to be like, y'all some dumb asses and I'm going to walk away. But I'm going I'm to watch and see what they just, we're going to see what they do, y'all. You but, can't let any fans in. Do you understand? You know, they yeah, said yeah. that. They, they, they said had, that, had, that. In Kansas, they had the fucking, they had like 16,000 fans they let in that, in that stadium, man. That's just dumb. It, it, I think it, that's it, stupid. It's nuts. I don't know what it is. But all right, so. Let, let, let's get into this last topic because we, we're not going to be able to go extra tonight. But um, no, no, we can't go. Yeah, not tonight. But um, James Scurlock uh, is his name. It, it was his life. Um, I, 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 I hadn't actually heard about this, or I'm, I'm not sure if I was up. Yeah, I had, this. yeah, I had actually, yeah. But uh, May 30th, the weekend that uh, protests broke out nationwide over uh, the, the killing of George Floyd. Um, an incident broke out in 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 Omaha, Nebraska. Um, speaking of the Big Ten, right? That's Big Ten country now. Um, yeah. So a white a white bar owner shot a young black man, twenty two years old. I believe the bar owner was thirty eight. His name is Jake Gardner. the The man shot and killed twenty uh, two year old James Skurlock. Apparently, the bar owner says he fired some warning shots in the air. A, a, a scuffle broke out between... Actually, there, there, was, a, there was a bit of a um, scuffle between some apparently BLM, or allegedly, I should say, BLM uh, protesters and this bar owner. The bar owner right. fired, fired some warning shots in the air. James Scurlock, the uh, murder victim... Uh, jumps on his back to try and stop him from shooting his gun and ends up getting shot and killed. Um, and th again, I say this is May 30th. And when I tell you that it took till today um, for an indictment to come through, uh, this also being after the, the local police decided not to prosecute and that it was... So the local DA in, in, in 36 hours or 36 hours after the incident decided that yeah, that, that nothing it's, to see here. It, it, nothing to see here, folks. Uh, nothing clearly, to see here. Keep it moving. Defense. What are you doing? Quit Keep looking over here. here. Come on, niggers. Let's go. It's, so, it's same old shit. Man. So now the state attorney's office got involved and the AG, and they they have found evidence 
uh, that contradicts that, that shows the shooter, um, the bar owner, Jake Gardner, uh, to have a past of a racist past, let's just say, of, of people coming out and saying he's always said racist things. Uh, and then apparently evidence that they can't release yet as part of the investigation. But they're saying that the, ba the majority of the evidence against the shooter is coming from the shooter. So I'm assuming there's probably videos and posts and all of these things. So when we say earlier about check your selfie, I just love that these, you know, racer crack, racist cracker minded honky monkeys are using social media to bury themselves in a lot of ways. And we have to keep paying attention and blowing this shit up. But I'm assuming, oh, yeah. no, once again, and, this is an and, assumption, and, and, but and they're, this saying, they're saying that the indicting information is coming directly from the shooter himself. So, Right. But also in this situation, you got to look at, they found information, you know, that showed it, and it was so clear. I don't understand why the first DA didn't see it. It was very easy. It was very, you know, it wasn't like he was hiding it. All of his racist rants and all of the people he was affiliated with were all not, not, normal i don't like niggas racist it's i want to kill black people racist and the fact that it took until took until september is some bullshit and the same thing with the the, the shooter that happened with the young kid that's 17 and they said well you know he's 17 give him a break shut the fuck up and they found out some shit about him that the, he has shot the one person in the back so how was he being attacked was the dude running backwards at him so mm -hmm. it's bullshit and this guy, it took this long until September. I had saw about it, and I was waiting to see what was going to happen. Are they going to actually charge this motherfucker? It took too long. And it, there was so much shit on his Facebook page and on – he was on other racist fucking websites. Yeah. no, Flat it's, out him it's, it's saying, all... saying crazy shit, like crazy terrorist, I'm going to kill black baby shit type shit. Yeah. I'm not saying he said kill black baby. I'm saying in that vein. And And what do they need to see – after he shoots a black man in the fucking bar. It's just bullshit. And anybody out there that says black people are paranoid, there's a motherfucking reason we paranoid. It ain't like and, we and, paranoid out the blue. And here, here's the problem for the police with the, these two, two different um, standards for their policing. One where they treat us differently and one where they treat European Americans differently. Um, to tie in what uh, AJ Fit brought up earlier is uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma, right? Right next to Omaha, Nebraska. Um, yeah. You have a, a white guy who has a violent history of assaulting police, all kinds of assaults, things like that, re refusing cooperation, won't get out of the car. They're trying so hard to pull him out. The they've tased him. They've maced him. At this point, a black person, like, um, you know, the brother who got shot in, in the back seven times, six times, like th this is, this is beyond that, right? Like this guy is, is clearly belligerent, won't get out the car, ends up out of the car in a scuffle with the cops. I don't know if he took one of their guns or, or produced his own, but ended up shooting both of these cops. Uh, shit, we got 30 seconds left, man. We're going to have to get into this top topic tomorrow. I'm going to put this at tomorrow, the top 6 tomorrow. 6 p.m., 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. tomorrow night. We will see you then. Also, Friday, 4 p.m. to um, 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. Savage AF. Make sure you follow at Black Pedro and subscribe to the podcast. Savage AF, iTunes, Stitcher, Slacker, Google Play, iHeartRadio, and Spotify. We will see you tomorrow. Thank you all for being so supportive. We appreciate you all. Yes, I hope Brianna's fucking people, the, the people that shot Brianna Taylor, they get, she gets justice. justice. We're out. We're still fighting. We're out. Yeah.